So, like I said, it's kind of open season on LeBron so far. And I don't really care what you look the stands thing. I think it's pretty much open season with everybody when it comes to LeBron. I've seen so many videos today about it, but mainly them talking about that missed call, whatever. And it's funny, I made a video actually talk about how much LeBron is probably the most sported athlete of all time. I made that video before that game even started. So some of you people can get out of here with that. Yeah, it's a weird timing that it came out right after that game happened. But anyways, you know, I made it before the game happened. But some people seem to miss two points when it comes to that. One, they missed the point that before that foul was even called, I mean, before that foul was even committed, he did travel. You know, he travels all the time. I watch his footing all the time. He moves way too much, but you can say that about a whole bunch of other players. It's funny, though. People say LeBron don't travel, or his fans say he don't travel, but they're quick to call out anybody, any other player. But anyways, and everybody's talking about the refs need to be changed, fine, whatever. You know what? We've been crying about that. I at least been crying about the refs ever since I started watching basketball, how terrible they be officiating these games. But now when LeBron, and something happens with LeBron, they cry about it. LeBron's been a flopper his whole entire career, a beneficiary of the flopping. So I don't want to hear that. Another thing I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear about the missed call. All right, you don't get the missed call. Not every superstar gets every call. So guess what? You're still tied, going to overtime, and do goat things like he's supposed to do. But did he do that? No. He called a hissy fit. So my video about LeBron being the most spoiled is still relevant. But anyways, I'm tired of him. I think everybody's getting tired of him. I think even some of his well-reasonable fans who not get so in their feelings, not getting caught up in his worship, are getting tired of him. They're getting fatigued. But it's not just him is the problem. It's Adam Silver, too. There's other players in it. They will not, for the life of me, for some reason, and I think I know why, they will not let Giannis be the face of the NBA because I think I said this previously in the video, and they won't let him be the face of the NBA because he's not American. But even so, if you don't want to make Giannis probably arguably the best player in the world right now, you don't want to make him the face of the NBA, why not KD? They tried to make Steph, but nope. LeBron and his evil empire won't let that happen. Can't make Jason Tatum the face of the NBA. Won't let that happen because Adam Silver don't want to actually promote the younger, uh, even younger than KD. He don't want to promote anybody under 30. At all. It's been like it's been an increase of uptick with the, the, the LeBron worship lately. And I'm not talking about, okay, let's do this. We take out the foreign people like Jokic, Luca, and Giannis. Like I said before, why not promote Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown? Why not promote them? Like they stuck on LeBron. I think some people are they're just getting tired of LeBron. That's why the ratings are going down. And they've been going down for a long time now. I think they've been going down probably ever since the the advent of the super team. Since LeBron got that team and uh, created that team in Miami. It's just not enjoyable when somebody wants to control every narrative. It's turning people off. Like I said before, and I said this many times before, if Giannis, if there was no such thing as Giannis, I wouldn't care about the NBA. Not until LeBron got out of there. Jordan made people care about the NBA. That's something, some things that the freaking Le, the LaCroix seem to miss. Kobe made people care about the NBA. Laker fans don't even care about this team no more because they don't like LeBron anymore. They're getting tired of him. He screwed up their future. So they don't care anymore. And I know some Laker fans. I know a lot of Laker fans. Real Laker fans. That were fans 
Well, not all of them were fans of the 80s. Showtime Laker fans, because they was uh, either not born or didn't understand basketball at the time because they was too young to understand. But they was fans of the Kobe years. They getting tired of this bald and fool controlling their team. They getting tired of it. Fans are get, getting tired of it. It's over. They also getting tired of this low management crap too. It was also contributing to the ratings. But that's a different video for a different time. Because I think I need to get some smoke to two players that play in the same building as LeBron. But yeah, the, the LeBron era needs to be done. It's getting so bad now that it's even affecting high school sports, even probably even college sports, because now his son was named McDonald's All-American. This is not the hate on the kid, but it's like, shoot. Shoot. You look at other high school players that are better than LeBron's son. I didn't even see Jordan do this for his two sons. And yes, they weren't on they weren't any good. But from what I've been hearing and seeing, he's get, Ronnie's getting on his hype because of who his father is. He probably got that McDonald's American uh, pick because it because of his father. There could have been other people in there, but nope. It trickles down all the way to that. And I hate to cast dispersions on his kid. But it's like, shoot, look at who your dad is. Your dad controls half the media. Remember, he's Emperor, Emperor LeBron. Rich Paul is Grandma Tarkin. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm done. It's getting unbearable with the ESPNs and the undisputed. Shannon Sharp causing a scene at Staples Center should have been a freaking red flag right there, even though there was plenty of red flags before that. <sighs> I, I, I don't think he's going to retire to this season, but shoot. He can't retire soon enough. And fast.